Hello, everyone. It's Jeb Hamburger from Miami, Florida, coming to you at the end of the week of April 5th, 2019. Very interesting week. Uh, very exciting times. Very volatile times. We saw at the end of 2018 a stock market crash, uh, a correction, that and a potential slowdown when they were trying to raise in high, higher interest rates. Now the Fed may be lowering interest rates and with Trump's support with um, Herman Cain coming on the Federal Reserve appointment as a Federal Reserve appointment. Uh, they may actually be lowering interest rates and quantitative easing once again, and that's why we're seeing the stock market um, testing all-time highs once again. So, stocks are continuing its record run to new highs, but what we're noticing now with the metals market, uh, some interesting developments that have happened this past week, platinum. Uh, which has been ignored for a long time, like silver, had a nice um, breakout. Uh, so the platinum price is finally beginning to catch up to palladium. Palladium went on a huge tear uh, this past year, where it ran from, uh, uh, where did it run from? It, it, it hit a low of below $900, $800 to as high almost to $1550. Now it's corrected uh, almost 200 points over the last two weeks, but Palladium Platinum is beginning to make a interesting breakout. Copper, silver, gold are still basing and haven't broken out yet. Gold is, you know, making a cup and a handle at, and trying to gain the strength to break through that 1350 resistance point. That will be a really interesting area. If it can break through that point, and I think as the Fed starts lowering interest rates, and with the possible appointment of Kane, where the president's pushing for quantitative easing, we think that that's going to make a huge uh, move for the gold price, and that's going to really help out uh, the junior gold mining sector. Um, so any other developments we have been seeing since the last summer, um, the bond prices, U.S. bond prices and the dollar are continuing higher. Um, and that's because of a, uh, we're seeing bonds rallying, stocks rallying, um, and commodities still basing. So that transition to our sector has not happened yet, um, but we're closely uh, following the sector that we're going to see the stock market finally make a blow off rally. It could happen these next two months, uh, but we need to remember the aphorism sell in May and go away for the large stocks. Uh, May to November has historically not been the strongest, but for junior miners, that's the time when there's a lot of activity, uh, especially up in areas that we follow in Canada, like BC, where we follow. You know companies that have had great success uh, over this past year um, so stay tuned to gold stock trades some significant news uh, this week we saw first cobalt produce a cobalt sulfate that can be used for um, electric vehicle manufacturers the CEO is on BNN this week please listen to the interview with me this week that we spoke um, uh, this week about the significance of the news that you can get on my blog. Uh, significant news with Gold Source, where they have gotten a lead order with Eric Sprott. That should be closing soon. That's going to create a lot of activity in Guyana. So, uh, very excited about the activity going on up in BC in mid May. Remember last year there was a great success story of Sun Metals. Uh, S-U-N-M that has made a huge discovery up at the Stardust property. Um, Nevada, uh, lots of things that we're following in Nevada. So stay tuned to goldstocktrades.com. We expect more news to be happening next week. Uh, and we will be closely following the metals markets and the large stock market uh, and uh, the 
the junior mining news at goldstocktrade.com. And you can sign up for my free newsletter. We're all learning together and we're trying to find the nuggets and the, 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 the great stories in the junior mining space together. Continuing to learn, continuing to try and move forward and try again. Thank you for listening to goldstocktrades.com. Jeb Hanwerger here. Three, uh, it is April 5th, uh, 2019, after the market closes. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.